Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. And we're here with a new video and we're off to our next mission. And these are all under the Mastering series. So we're, our next one in line is the Trophy Bass 1, the Bass Jig mission. So everything is all about bass jigs in this one. In fact, when we win this one, we get a Trophy Bass Jig half ounce or aught as a one of our prizes for for accomplish for completing this mission and we're going after bass large mouth small mouth um we're headed to mud water falcon and the heron again but so it's still low level lakes we're gonna head out to these guys there um we're going after two pound bass or 0.91 kilograms uh, on on each waterway so it's two pound on a large mouth on mud water it's a uh, two pound smallie on falcon and the heron it's to catch a bass two pounds now buck screwed up um let's get over there and take a look what i did guys i was fishing on friday night fishing with buck and we were all down at the everglades and we were catching a lot of tarp and having some good having some good fun over there for sure and what i did of course control i think it's right I fear I never get anything right. There it is. There we go. <clears throat> what I did was <clears throat> the next morning, I still had some time left. I wanted to catch as much fish as I could, of course, or, you know, to get myself in the, in the, in the, in the black. I made a stupid mistake because I, I already had these poles geared up, ready to go. And uh, damn if I didn't grab one out of there. I forgot about this damn mission and, and caught a four pound, over four pound bass, trophy, trophy bass down there. On it. So it marked off the damn catch a bass four pound because I had planned on doing that at Naharan. <clears throat> but we got it marked off. Hopefully, still at Naharan, we'll do that because we're going to go to Mudwater. And you guys, you should follow this actually, the way they got this written up. I think it's, it works out the best and it costs you the least amount of money. You know, me, Buck, I'm, I'm a tightwad. So go to Mudwater first, get that largemouth bass. Then we're going to go to Falcon and we're going to get to Smalley and go to Naharan and catch this bass. Now, the Bass 2 mission that we're going to do next, of course, gets, puts us right back on the Heron. That's the first one for largemouth bigger than 4.4. Four. So what I'm hoping for here, you know, always save time and money, we'll end up here at the Heron, and hopefully we'll catch a 4.4 or four pound bass right off the bat on this mission. And that'll, that'll knock these two out. So we'll get the two pounder mocked off for here, and we'll also get the four pounder mocked off for over there and that'll also i won't have to go catch another four pounder somewhere for you guys so i'm hoping that that's how this all works out but we'll, we'll see all right guys let's go take a look at the inventory let's see what buck's taking with us all right um pretty much had the same pose from the last missions i I'm, all i did was re-gear things up a little bit all right, so seven we still have, and this is what we were fishing with on Friday night. Got a got Brutus in seven, and I got another Brutus in, in two. And, you know, we're going to be on these lakes, so we're going to be over there at Falcon. They got some trout on them, so we want to be able to catch them up there. We're going to be down in the Heron once we catch this bass. I don't want to just strictly be catching bass all night. You know, I got some poles here where we can jump over and catch some flatheads and make some good money, some gars, and, you know, other stuff while you're there you got to think you know we're not we're going on this mission but we're going to be down on a, on a waterway and if you, you're stuck just with gear that you're just going to catch bass with you're not going to make a whole lot of money you better, you're going to have to stay there a lot longer you know you want to grab you, know, you want to grab that fly that catfish while we're in the hair for sure you want to grab a whole bunch of trout while we're up at falcon for sure uh mud water yeah you know it, mud water is what it is fellas uh not a whole lot i can say about that you know what I mean? Um, it just, mud water is what it is. So, we'll get what we can off of mud water. We'll make, we'll make our money, we'll make our trip. Luckily, it doesn't cost a whole lot to go over there. So, we, we won't be in too much trouble there. All right, so, that's what we got going on here. So, here's our, here's the weapons of choice that we had to have geared up. So, we got, the, I got a far caster right here, Counselor 3000 on him. And now, point, 006 braid here, but it's also 19 pound test. So it hits the qualifier and gives us a heavier stick. 
So I got 19 pound on a 21 pound and on a 17 five stick. Not a problem there. All right, so this is one one ounce with a four aught and I got a four inch mini grub on him, uh, black and silver. So trailer, I like to fish them trailers with the grubs. Now here's our next stick up here. It's a little smaller guy. So this is one we'll probably use uh, off the bat at mud water there. Um, <clears throat> Value cast 6.6 with a low dex 1500 on him, okay? And at the seven, nine pound with a 7.7 engine on him, uh, we got a small three quarter ounce, three odd green, white, green solid and white, three quarter ounce. And I got a glow worm on him just because the color matches real nice. So, you know, what the hell? You know, get a little attraction there. And of course, then I can always bring my omni stick over there so we can always catch some, grab up on some pan fish and stuff. We got The main thing is we're catching fish, right? We want to catch fish. <laughs> That's it. All right. So, and in the third slot here, we you know, got my river spear, the big guy. And I, I, him and on my omni float, these two guys go with me everywhere because you never know. I, I just, that, those are my sticks. And of course, we already looked, talked about him and I got an ultra light, the ultra light in there, the feather light. All right. So that's our sticks. That's what we're going to take with us. Um, check the globe. Make sure you got a fish net here, Buck. Oh, and by the way, guys, I, you know, we're on these missions right here. We're not catching a whole lot of fish. We don't need to catch a whole lot of fish, actually, uh, to complete the missions and to make the money. So I dumped out on the big fish nets because they just cost too much money when you beat them up. Yeah, they'll last for four or five of these missions, but you're still paying, you know, $40,000, $50,000 if you let that fish net get all beat up. So we're gonna take a smaller fish net. I got one, 440 pounds. That's for, for these three waterways. You fill that up, that's plenty of money. Now uh, you make good money that way. So you got a good bankroll with you on this one with the 440. And that's the Fish Castle L Plus. All right, so that's why we're going there. Uh, we don't need to worry about boats on this one, but that's okay. Um, all right, with that being said, let's go over. Oh, good reminder here, fellas. We're fishing with these guys on Friday night and nobody's got any damn worms, red worms. How can you not have red worms? How can you not have red worms? They're free, Lone Star, every single day. It takes you all of a minute to go over there and get yourself 25 more red worms. Come on, guys. Don't ever show up on Friday fishing with Buck and you ain't got any red worms because I'm going to let you have it. All right. So anyway, I already got my red worms for today. We don't need to worry about that. First place we're going to is mud water. And it looks like I don't have a license. So I will get me a license, get me on my private chat, and uh, I'll meet you guys down in mud water. We'll see you later. Okay, guys, I made it. We are here at mud water. Now I've got three spawning joints here at mud water. And where the bass are in, in this river is kind of like between the three points here, if you triangulate, um, <clears throat> the main concentration of, of bass is over here, kind of like in the middle right here. And between these two points, it would be right or left respectively, which one you're at, but up a little further also in the middle. So. We got two different angles if we go either one of these places. So we can either go into the Lost Songs of Summer or the Catfish Heaven over there. And down here at Pike Challenge, we basically, we're only going to hit this area here. We won't have access to the other one up there. We won't be able to hit it. So I think we're going to start in over here first at Catfish Heaven. We're going to drop in there. I'm about to pick a friend zone over there in case anybody shows up. And uh, I'll see you over there. We'll go fishing. I don't know how long this game's going to take, but we'll see. I'll be right back. All right. We are here. Okay. So we got, we can hit them guys out in that area right over there. Let me get a rod out real fast. So we got bass in this area right here. And then... This side over here, we got bass all, all through this area right here. So, we're just gonna start here for the day. We'll start over here, you get in the middle here a little bit. 
Okay, we need, uh, I think it was six, I think it was five that we need here. <clears throat> there we are, here's the little guy. So, let's, let's see. We'll hit this area out here first. If we can snap someone up out there. Better set to three, Buck. Let's see if that's too fast. So, or what is it? All right, we got her off the bottom. Hit three to get her off the bottom. Probably halfway here or there. Oh, we missed him. There he was. This is what we're doing. We're gonna. All right. No. All right. I'm gonna bang at this for a little bit and see if we can pull one up out of here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Maybe, maybe we finally got our bass. I don't know. We'll see. Got two both in. It's 2:39 in the afternoon. Let's see if I can not lose this one. bass but is he two pounds that's gonna be the question I don't think so oh well, maybe he is if you don't mess around and lose him buck there he is we got him 2.1 wasn't even a trophy. We didn't need a trophy. Very good. Well, guys, <clears throat> that marks this guy off the list. That's the third fish. Let's, we'll keep him. Oop. Third fish. From 5 o'clock in the morning, I hit every spot in that river that I've ever caught a bass in. Every spot. The hesitation, <clears throat> that's what got him. Hesitation. A straight pull and then let it hesitate and drop. Right before it gets to the bottom, I would just twitch it up off the bottom and that's when he hit it. I don't know though. Well, what are we off to next? Missions. We are going to Falcon. All right, guys. Well, as you can see from the inventory, I haven't made any money. However, it doesn't take a lot to get here. I'm going to change up some baits here, grab a couple more of these bow fins and largemouth bass real fast, and I will see you at Falcon. Okay, guys, I made it to Falcon. So, we are here. We're going to put in at the boat dock. Um, where, where, where'd my mouse go? Come here, guys. All right, there we are. Boat dock. We're going to go down to the boat dock. We're actually going to walk around the edge there and get all the way up here closer to the to the rock wall that's over here and uh that's where we're going to try to hit this guy up these smallies over here all right so that being said let's go fishing here here we are at the boat dock we're just gonna walk we're gonna walk over here <clears throat> now, this is a great place to fish along that wall if you want <clears throat> your, your brown trout Oops, I should have turned that down. Um, it's real deep down there, really, really deep. And and that's where the outlaw, you get your, get your uh, whatever that fish was that we caught over the monster fish. Anyway, this is where we're gonna fish. We're after a smallmouth there. 
there, so let's do it. We'll try this one. This is when we got them, we got them on, on in my water. So we're just gonna throw out here. See if we can grab grab one up right out here somewhere. It should be it should be in here somewhere. Anywhere from here, work our way to the left over here up towards that wall. And I usually I usually start out this area. It's kind of deep. <clears throat> So it takes a while to let that thing get to the bottom, that's for sure. All right, Buck, get your... Hold on, let's control it. All right, there we go. All right, got her at the bottom. What are you doing on four, dude? Three. I got a chocolate <clears throat> chocolate five inch worm as a trailer on this guy. And I found out, I, I didn't get to talk too much about it at uh, Mudwater, but with this stick, we started off with a three quarter ounce. And at this, I wasn't able to work that lure the way I, I wanted to, I wanted the lure to react. <clears throat> so then I switched up and went to a, uh, I went to a, uh, a half ounce and I had a, had, a, had the blue and white on there, half ounce. And right over here by these trees are down a lot. See if we can grab something there, right out of there. Um, and it was a little too light. So naturally, then I went in between here. I got myself a third ounce, and that's what we caught that bass on this, this setup here with this pole. And it seems to be the right way with for this line and everything here. Running it on a three speed and sometimes I got it to a two. But it's it's the right weight and everything for this for this weapon. So it's I, I can move this lure, it moves well in the current. I can depending on whether I'm on two or three speed. And so this is probably the best the best weight for this guy. So <clears throat> We're gonna bang him off the bottom for a while, fellas, until we grab the small mouth. I'll be right back. Well, guys, <clears throat> I don't know. This is a trout or a smallie. I don't think a trout would have hit this lure, so I'm hoping it's a smallie. I moved across over by the waterfall. <clears throat> Wasn't getting anything across the lake there. It's a small one. Here we go, we can get him off. So that's 2.255. That takes care of that guy. Alright, Buck, let's mark him off the list. Talking done. Mudwater done. Well, guys, let's see what we got here. I know I haven't made much money at all. I think I got two fish. <laughs> Coming under nine dollars. I'm a long ways away from six hundred six thousand and ninety. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh oh. What happened to Buck there? That doesn't look too good now, does it? in the heron. We need two fish down there. We need a two pounder and a four pounder. So hopefully we can just grab the four pounder right off the bat. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to go after the two pounder. I'm just going to put the bigger stick on the bigger um, 
bass jig on and go with that. I'm just trying to do this with one fish. Get the hell out of there. All right, guys. <clears throat> I got to stay here for a little bit. I got to make some money. So it's going to take me a little bit of time. But I will see you guys. It's, it's quick for you guys. It's not so quick for me. I'll see you in the heron. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I made it to the Heron. We're here. And I think what we'll do is we're gonna spawn in. Oh, there's a couple of spots all around the river, really, for, for the bass. But um, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. So we'll spawn in here at the great parking job. Let's go over there. All right, let's see here. No chip on the rock there, Buck. Well, this is as good a place as any is, I guess. I'm just start out here. Toss her out that direction there. And see if we can grab that four pounder. And I got the X-Series bass jig running here, the one ounce with a four rod on it. And I got him tailed up with a mini grub, four inch. Who's gonna be enough here for this water? Nope. Nope, don't look like it. Alright, Bucka. Oh, look at that, Buck. As soon as you kick her up. Start on three. See if we can get him up this time. Hmm. He's there. There he is. Come on, fish. Guys, he's in there. He's gonna be finicky. I'll be right. Oh, that's weird. That's only a 2.4 pound small eight, and it took it off my list here. What happened? Oh, that's all I needed was a two pound bass. Where's the four pound bass? Oh, I know what happened. <clears throat> I had already caught the four pound bass at Everglades. That's why it's completing this mission on me. I kept thinking I had to do that again, for, for, which I do. I have to get the four pounder. <laughs> All right, well, we'll claim that. We got our trophy bass jig, half ounce, four aught. Got him in the backpack. And now we'll get some point zero one one inch. Trophy braid. Very good. We'll claim that. Oh, well, that completes this one, but we needed to get a four pound bass. So, I say, even though I completed it, I'm gonna hang around here and see if I can, see if I can grab us up a four pound. I'll be right back. Well, not quite four. We got a three pounder. We'll be right back. Well, follows the very next fish. Trophy smallmouth bass, 4.1. That'll do her for the four pounder right here at Naharan. So, well that, that completes the Trophy Bass 1 Bass Jig Mastering Mission. I guess we're off, what's it? Let's see, let's take a look here at the, we'll keep this critter here. All right, let's go take a look. Let's go take, let's have a look. It is 
Just to set it to envelope. Missions. The next one. Last two. Worm, worm jig bait. Oh, we get our we get our bass boss cap, fellas. Oh my, I'm all excited about this one. Catch a bass with weight more than 6.7 pounds. Well, I already have that one done. Wonder where I caught him at. <laughs> Alright. Worm bait. The heron, Everglades, and Quadskin. So we need a we need a 441 pounder right here. Large mouth bass, bigger. So Oh, we'll be starting the second one right here. All right, guys. One, two. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got something out of this. At least um, you know where to go get these guys. You can get them here, that's for sure. Well. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Um, don't forget about the Discord channel too, guys. We have a lot of fun over there fishing in, in the evenings. So, um, with that being said, never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.